Welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I'd touch upon three of my favorite topics at the same time. So that's caffeinated drinks and more specifically coffee, fitness, but also a bit of personal finance. And I really hope this is a winning combo. So if that's the case, give me a like and subscribe. I normally brew my own coffee in the morning at home. Uh, and in the past half year, I even grind the coffee and the beans uh, as I've showed in an earlier video. And most people probably don't realize or care how expensive it is to actually constantly buy coffee out. You just do it you know, every morning. But also apart from the cost, I don't think uh, most people maybe realize how many calories that are actually inside those you know, lattes or cappuccinos if you consume them regularly. So I figured I combine all of these insights for you guys. Uh, let me know if you want more of this and I'll try to dig into other areas that could be of interest. But first out, essentially coffee is pretty expensive even if you buy the beans and I personally paid I think around 60 Hong Kong dollars or so for these. 225 grams and that's probably like three to four times more expensive than in Europe uh, but that's how it is here in some parts of Asia and each bag is 225 grams here and I use 64 grams per day uh, so that means it lasts roughly three and a half days per bag uh, and that's basically two bags per seven days and week so that puts my spending at roughly 120 Hong Kong dollars per week so that means 17 Hong Kong dollars per day, uh, giving me maybe like four huge cups of coffee, uh, meaning 4.25 Hong Kong dollars each. And there are definitely cheaper ones than this, and I can probably cut it down to like two Hong Kong dollars or so. That means roughly like 20 to 40 US dollar cents per cup, which essentially is like a tenth of what you would pay in you know, Starbucks or something like that. So okay, that's kind of the financial part of things. If I actually look into the different coffees, I actually went out and you know splurged a bit for you guys. So I got myself a cappuccino, and that's roughly 150 calories according to Starbucks. Uh, and that means if you do that every day, that's 1,050 calories per week. And if you do that for 52 weeks, one year, that's 54,600 calories a year which is equivalent to seven kilograms of fat. That's the same as roughly walking one to three hours extra per week just to burn that off, or you know, 10 to 30 minutes per day if you're buying cappuccino every day. So if that's 45 Hong Kong dollars, that's 315 Hong Kong dollars per week. 52 weeks, that's 16,380 Hong Kong dollars per year roughly 2113 US dollars per year that you could save if you just skip that coffee not to mention the seven kilograms of fat so essentially if you cut that out you can save 2113 dollars per year and seven kilograms of fat and a lot of time that you don't have to exercise to do that but of course if you don't feel like splurging a few thousand dollars that's up to you uh, but it's one thing you could definitely cut back on so I suggest you could, for example, buy ice Americano or just hot Americano if it's cold outside, uh, which basically means it's just an espresso with water or ice, or do what I do, which is brew at home uh, and drink it black. So no milk or no, uh, you know, cappuccino, no latte. So that's personally just what I do. Um, that could save you a ton. So I also went out and bought uh, a latte which actually seems to have more calories in it, 190 calories. So just those two together is 340 calories in one day. So that's pretty significant, not to mention the almost 45 plus 66 uh, Hong Kong dollars, so more than almost like 110, 120 Hong Kong dollars in one day, 12 US dollars that you could save by skipping this. So those are just two tips to save both money and some calories. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, let me know. Give me a like, subscribe and see you in the next video.